Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. Today will be a love reading, but we're going to do this a little differently. We're going to take a look at this love reading and we're going to look at your energy. We're going to look at your person's energy and then we're going to see what feelings lie beneath and we're going to see where this connection is going. What's what's in for this connection? Um, let me know how you like this spread. Um, let me know if it's something that you want to see again, if it's something that I could just <laughs> not do again, or yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll really be interested to know. All right, Aquarius, let's look at your feelings first. Let's take a look at your feelings. Okay, Aquarius, believe in yourself, unleash your inner unicorn. Okay, so you're feeling kind of on top of the world. You're you're feeling pretty good. You're feeling pretty happy about the situation. This person may make you feel very unique. Like you're the only one in the room. You know, you're the unicorn to this person. And we have impasse. Yeah. So you might be at sort of an impasse. You're kind of caught in between. You're not sure if this person's intentions are real. Um, you kind of have your doubts and feelings about the situation. Um, but you're still sticking in there because I feel like you, you're focused on seeing where the situation is going to go. But you still have your reservations. You may not fully trust this person. It kind of leaves you kind of in between. For your person, set your intentions with heart and soul. I almost didn't use that right. Set your intentions with heart and soul. And give me another card for this person. Gratitude. Yeah, this person is happy to have you in their life. They feel very thankful. They feel very thoughtful in this situation. This person may have manifested you. They feel like you're the unicorn. You're someone that, that they've been waiting for. You may be pregnant at the time, or they may be pregnant. Or that is the intention that they have. They, they plan on this situation to last, to grow. Wow, very interesting, Aquarius. Okay, let's take a look at your feelings, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your feelings. I'm going to use three separate decks, so... We are, we do have the ability to get the same cards on both sides. So we will see. Okay, what is your feelings about the situation, Aquarius? The Ten of Cups. And the Chariot. Okay, so you want to move to happiness. You want to move into this situation that's going to be you're everlasting. I feel like that's what you're looking for, Aquarius. You're looking for that everlasting love. Um, yeah, you have the Queen of Cups on the bottom. So yeah, you're looking to nurture this situation, to help it grow, to be supportive, to, you know, show the caring and the capacity that this person may not have felt before. And uh, I feel like this person is very open to receiving whatever it is that you're giving. You may be physically moving in with this person or you may be moving to a different location. But I feel like this is you on the path to your happiness, Aquarius. You're def definitely on the path to your happiness. Now give me some cards for Aquarius's person. Give me some cards for their person, please. The Seven of Wands.
and the six of them. Okay, so they feel like this is a progress. You know, they feel like they're progressing into this. And wands are very fiery. They, they take action. The, your person may be very assertive. They may be very bold, very daring, you know. Um, <clears throat> but we also have the Knight of Cups on the bottom. So I feel like this person is ready to work through any challenges. I feel like this person will fight for you. They'll fight for you <laughs> to the death because they want this happy ending. They see you as their unicorn. You know, they recognize you and they want to be recognized the same way. They want to feel those little um, admirations, you know. Um, they want to feel the extra excitement when they see you. And I feel like they, they're really looking for the same thing that you are. But I feel like this person, this person, if they feel like there's competition, this person will fight for you. This person will, you know, back you up. They'll hold you down. And I feel like at times this person may be very defensive if other people talk to you. They may be a little bit on the jealous side. They may want to protect you from certain situations. And I feel like they'll do it in an instant. For where the situation is going, you have the four, uh, excuse me, the three of wands. So I feel like this love is growing. You're both looking towards the future. Yeah, and they have the king of wands. Lots of wands, lots of passion, lots of fire in this reading. Your person may be a fire sign, or they may be just very passionate, very caring, very assertive. But I feel like with the king of wands, your person is going to be very courageous, very powerful. They also may have a very good job, a very high ranking job. And it feels like they're sitting on top of the world, you know. Um, but I feel like you're both looking towards the future. Look how she's gazing out towards the happiness, you know. And he's looking over at her. He's watching her as she gazes into the excitement of the unknown. He's just watching, just kind of admiring the view, you know. He feels that power, that passion, that excitement with the Six of Wands. Lots of gratitude. This person is very thankful that you're in their life. What else do we have, Spirit? What else do we have for this connection? The King of Pentacles. So I really feel like you're very practical. You're very grounded. You're very loyal, you know? And I feel like this person, let's see, <laughs> we have two cards that popped out. This person is very talkative. The, but look at all these wands. Wow. All these wands. The, this person is very, I, I feel like they enjoy movement. Because look at this, we have the motorcycle, we have the horse. The, this person enjoys movement. They enjoy to travel. They enjoy to take the journey. Uh, but we also have the Six of Pentacles. So this person wants to generously give you balance to kind of nurture the situation. They want to give as much as you're giving, you know. I feel like this relationship is all about giving and receiving. And I feel like it's an equal measure. Um, but your person does like to talk. They do like to travel. 
they do like to explore the world. They do like to see new things. Look, we have the two of wands on the bottom. So definitely, this person likes to travel. They like to see new things, take new journeys, um, experience new things that they haven't experienced. And I feel like they want to do this with you. They want to travel. They want to see the world. They want to make their plans. You know, they want to make choices. And I feel like you're very grounded. So I feel like sometimes, even though you're able to move and travel, I feel like sometimes you just want to be grounded. You just want to stay put, you know. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting, Aquarius. With the chariot card on your side, <clears throat> I feel like there may be a lot of travel. There may be a lot of travel that goes on in your in your relationship. You may be moving, seeing things. Uh, you may be moving to different locations, maybe for this person's job. You know? Let's take a look at the love cards. Let's take a look at the love cards. The Phoenix, a new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. Yeah, so I feel like you're like the Phoenix rising from the ashes. You kind of put the past behind. You're putting away those doubts that you're feeling. You're putting away those inner feelings. And you're moving through these ashes. You're rising like the Phoenix. Because remember, you're the unicorn, Aquarius. Okay, what do we have for your person? Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Yeah, so I feel like whatever this person has been through in their life, I feel like they're getting their karmic reactions. That's the reason why they feel so much gratitude. They, they're really uh, feeling the situation. Because they, they may feel like, you know, they're, you're their reward. You're their reward for a job well done. That's why we have the Six of Wands here. You know, the, the Six of Wands, that's a card of reward, recognition, you know, being seen, getting the just rewards for the work that you've done. He's just come out of battle. So I feel like you are this person's karmic relationship. They view you as something very special, very, um, very rewarded, you know? Tell me about this person. Tell me about this person's feelings, spirit. Tell me about this person's feelings towards Aquarius. Okay, they feel like you are their new beginning. You kind of make them feel alive, exhilarated. You're kind of bringing out all of the feelings that they were kind of hoping for. That's the reason why we have this Ten of Cups here. <laughs> yeah, okay, with this Seven of Wands. Now I know what the Seven of Wands is. The, this person, they feel like you're making them jealous. That's what the Seven of Wands is. That's, where, that's the reason why they will fight to the death, you know, to defend, to protect you. Because this person may be very jealous. They may be feeling like you're doing things to make them jealous. They may feel like, you know, very protective, very defensive. Okay, and you may, they also may be very playful. And with this, with all these wands, that's not very surprising because I feel like the wands bring out very playful energy, very energetic, very athletic energy. So this person likes to play games. They like to enjoy life. You know, that's what I'm feeling. They like to enjoy life. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to take two of these love cards. Okay, 
this one's for you. Imagine yourself and your loved ones surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So whatever healing this relationship needs, I feel like you're ready and able to do it. Maybe that's what this impasse card means. Um, let's get a card for them. We have, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Yeah, so I feel like that goes with this jealousy situation. I feel like this person wants to claim you, but innerly, they kind of know that it's wrong to be so jealous. And we have transformation for your connecting energy. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Okay, Spirit. Now, give me a few outcome cards for this situation. Give me some outcome cards. Where is this love connection going? The Queen of Swords for you. And the Two of Pentacles for them. And the Two of Wands. Okay, beautiful. We also have the Page of Cups at the bottom. So this is beautiful, beautiful energy, Aquarius. I feel like this person is ready to be honest and open with you. They want to communicate all of their thoughts. They want to communicate their support, their need. And I feel like this person that you're with, Aquarius, is very talkative. They like to communicate, and they may communicate very well. They may be very oh, assertive with their communication, sometimes maybe towards the aggressive side with their communication. But I feel like you're kind of cutting through that. You kind of keep this person in their place with the communication. You focus very clearly on what needs to be said, and I feel like you don't hold back. You let this person know, you know, I feel this way, or, and, you know, I see you doing this, and I feel like you're, you're very open and honest with this person about situations. For your person, they have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like they're... They, they feel like they may be juggling certain events. They may really feel like <clears throat> there is a need of balance, setting priorities. You know, I feel like they may be so busy at times that they want to set you as a priority. You're the unicorn, remember? You're the phoenix, so they're, they're seeing you as such. So they want to set you high upon the pedestal of their priorities. And I feel like you guys are you're out to see the world and wherever the destinations will bring you. You know, you have the chariot, you have the eight of wands, you have the six of, of wands, you have all of these cards of movement of you know, seeing different things, going on different journeys. Now look, we have two and two. So the twos in tarot, the angel numbers twos, two two is love and union. This is partnership. This is joy, you know. So I feel like this situation is going to be very joyful for you. It's going to bring you a lot of new experiences, new activities, <laughs> new ways of thinking. So, yeah, Aquarius, you are the unicorn. So, take advantage. This is your reading. This is what I have for you. 
Aquarius. So let me know in the comments if you enjoy this spread, if it's something that you'd like to see again. And um, if this resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And until the next reading, love and light.